now to the Hawthorns for West Bromwich Albion versus Manchester United. Two teams who've threatened to become championship challengers in 1980 without really achieving it. But if either found fresh impetus in the new year, they might still surprise their competitors. Commentator, Barry Davis. The last Saturday of the old year sees the new boxes in the two and a quarter million pound stand at the Hawthorns in use at, for the first time. The picture shows a marked contrast. Half of the stand completed on the left and the old stand still surviving on the right. And the spectators will be looking down on a pitch which is markedly different end to end. The far penalty area really being quite hard and the near quite soft. And both teams are unchanged. Albion sticking to the side, which ended a run of three games without any success with a nil-nil draw at Sunderland yesterday. And it means that Martin Bennett is still at number six in spite of the fact that Alistair Robertson is now available after suspension. Manchester United's draw against Liverpool at Old Trafford was their ninth there and their 15th in total. And their only change is in the choice of substitute where Scott McGarvey is given the chance. Referee Colin Downey of Hounslow gets the game underway with the home side playing from left to right. Two teams in sixth and seventh places in the first division after yesterday's matches. Cough. Robson, Barnes. To it by Duxbury. <laughs> Given away by Batson. This is Koppel. Jordan is far post. And he's still there. Jordan again. Good save by Gordon. Jordan given the second chance as the ball came off Moses and gotten down well to his right. Some errors in the Albion defence. Barnes, he took it so close to Alveston. Robson looking for Regis. Moran up, Moses. Had to give it enough power to get through the crowd. Therefore, had no chance of collecting. Nickel for United. Duxbury. Running John Weil. And setting up McElroy. Who was wide at the edge of the six yard box. Good stuff from Duxbury. Taking on Weil and setting up a player coming from behind to his left. Regis getting away from Jovanovic. Could have a crack. And it wasn't much of a crack. He really got clean away from the Yugoslav then. Just only really been in uh, personal duel. Last time they met, it was in the UFA Cup when Jovanovic was playing for Red Star Belgrade. Here's Duxbury. Robson having to hurry a bit. It's sort of a rather disjointed match. Joe Jordan acknowledging that he was totally at odds with his timing. It wasn't a really a very good ball that Batson was given. The 
sort of turned it forward and Jordan really made a nonsense of the challenge. Robson. Forward for Regis. Back to Moses. And the goalkeeper loses it. Penalty's been given, and I think it was because uh, the goalkeeper grabbed the legs of Gary Owen. The move building up on the right side. The ball played through to Regis. Moses going through. Gary Bailey lost the ball, and as it fell at the feet of Owen, it seemed to me that the goalkeeper grabbed at Owen's legs, and a penalty's been awarded. Anyway, it gives Gary Owen a chance from the penalty spot for his fifth goal of the season, and what would be his third successful penalty. Comes in the 35th minute of the match. And Bailey going the wrong way. 1-0 to West Bromwich Albion. All smiles from Gary Owen. Um, he's been one of the most industrious players on the field. But his work rate been matched only by Mickey Thomas. And he breaks the deadlock fixture which Albion have won for the last four years by reading from the fast forward 4-0, 4-0, 1-0 and 2-0 Manchester United need to uh, break a record which goes back to September 74 which was the last time they scored here McCurry put away by Weil and rightly as Jordan was threatening behind cover on him doesn't look too happy and I think with just one player in the six yard box that's Makari three big fellows outside one of them is Jovanovic here and here's Duxbury taken away by Regis McElroy the pressure this from United They're not always orchestrated Jordan up. John Wilde away again. Chance for a break with Regis. Barnes to the right. And somehow he managed to adjust his feet. But he didn't really make up his mind, I don't think. And Barnes has got through this time. And it's in! And Peter Barnes. I think that's the first time he's actually got past his man in close contact to any purpose. But having got round him, he managed to push the ball through Gary Bailey. And not really a happy first half for Gary Bailey. And both goals could go down as goalkeeper error. And 2-0 the score as we reach the 44th minute. And Ron Atkinson on the left there, Mick Brown is number two on his right, both of them with reason to be pleased. So we reach half time with two former Manchester City players having scored the goals against Manchester United for West Bromwich Albion. Owen for the penalty spot in the 35th minute and Peter Barnes two minutes from half time. So well, Manchester United have only been beaten three times this season. All of those away from home. Wolves, Crystal Palace and Arsenal. And here's Owen just finding himself losing the ball. Somewhat three or four yards into the uh, penalty area. So it's been given the other way. Gardens had no real save to make so far. Alistair Brown. Well, they'll hold it in. Robson. This is Brendan Batson being encouraged to have a crack. But he doesn't. Who's never scored for Albion in the league football? And Albion have got the free kick. Oh, oh. 
Robson and Owen on the ball. Curled up for Regis. Well, it looked nice, but it ended in a very simple take by Gary Bailey. Comes to Jordan. That's a good try and a point save. Really hit that well, did Joe Jordan. Well, the initial header out wasn't particularly good. Made himself a bit of room and struck it very sweetly. Gordon to tip it over the top. Two United players in the six-yard box. Half met by Robson, cleared by Owen. Alveston. McElroy. This is the Batson. And Barnes moved from his own half, and anyway, there were two defenders back. Streaming forward in numbers, Albion. He's got to give it to somebody soon. And he's got across the line, and they don't know what he's going to do, does he? Oh, yes, he does. And Owen gets a second at the second attempt. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Offside given. So it stays at 2 nothing, but the crowd applaud nonetheless. Jordan. Turn him inside out. Thomas. Corner. Threatening, in he comes and puts it in. Tony Gordon rather disappointed because they met and the goalkeeper couldn't get the punch clear. But Jovanovic managed to poke it home. So, with 54 minutes gone, Nicky Jovanovic's fourth goal of the season changes the complexion of the match. Here's Robson. Alistair Brown. Barnes. Robson. Owen. Free kick against Thomas. Used his hip on Batson. Moses, Regis. They were a bit unlucky, the two. And Dave Sexton's team on the up and up. Jordan. Moses. All right, Bank wasn't there to collect that. McElroy. Good start from United. There's Jordan. And he got just a deflection off the defender, which took all this thing out of the header. And this one. Barnes plays it early, but too far forward. And Ivanovic was lucky with the way the ball bounced. And runs into trouble in the person of Robson. Makari. And here's Barnes again. And Regis! Lovely cross. And there was nothing that the two defenders, more than Alberston, could do about it. But the initial mistake then came from Nicky Ivanovic, who got caught as he carried the ball away. And finally it came out to Barnes who went round the goalkeeper and put in a beautiful flight across for Regis to get his head in front of two defenders and put in. Sir Regis's tenth goal of the season, 
and it stretches the gap again to two goals between the teams with 61 minutes gone. Peter Barnes, the supplier. side <laughs> Owen and Koffel McElroy Thomas Koffel beginning to wander rather more. Nickel. Well, what about that? Well, it's seen as accidental. The referee was right on the spot. But as Jordan went to get that ball, Bennett actually stepped on the back of his ankle. And he did so in the area. But the referee obviously felt it was accidental. Regis. back to Jordan well claimed and well held Keeper was well placed. Shot was a bit too straight, really. Here's McElroy. And he couldn't get through the gap. Cardrill. Regis. Well, victory for Ron Atkinson's men. Defeat for Dave Sexton's only their fourth of the season in the league. Final verdict, three goals to one, with Regis's goal really being the killer after Manchester United were threatening very strongly to come back and make a real fight of it. Well, an encouraging two points for West Bromwich Albion, but it seems to me that unless United get one or two of their injured stars back quickly, uh, they're going to fall away a bit in the new year.